I've been trying to get into CinemaCon for almost five years now. If you haven't heard of it, it's the annual convention for movie theater owners. I know it might not sound as sexy as like a Comic-Con, but for those movie buffs, it's the absolute place to be. It's generally where upcoming films get shown off, new trailers get released, and the movie-loving fans of the world get to see the latest tech that makes those movies possible. This year alone, CinemaCon was where the new Venom trailer dropped, Aquaman was partially shown, and we learned that Wonder Woman 2 was going to take place in the 80s. It's awesome. So when Samsung asked if I wanted them to sponsor us to go to CinemaCon, I could not reply yes fast enough. It's in Vegas, which meant I could essentially make a day trip out of it. So I had to wake up around 5 a.m., which was not awesome, to catch a 7.45 a.m. flight, which was slightly better, to get to Vegas. The city was pretty sleepy, especially when you consider the usual CES craziness that I'm used to. After a quick taxi ride to Caesars Palace and picking up her badges, we were ready for the show. Like I said, this was a totally new experience for me, so I was kind of just geeking out and walking around checking out the displays and really just being a fan. Some of the movie stuff I saw I can't even talk about yet due to serious embargoes, but let's just say a movie that rhymes with Schwaqua Man is going to be awesome. When that unnamed movie does eventually hit theaters, chances are you'll probably be watching using some old school tech. You know, a theater with a giant projector room in the back and black levels that kind of look gray if you look at it close enough. It's a weird time when most home viewing looks better than what you get in a typical cinema. So since Samsung sponsored this trip, I obviously had to check out what they were showing. What they had to show was the answer to a traditional movie screen. It's the world's first cinema LED screen called Onyx. I know what you're probably about to say, I read the comments on YouTube, oh John, you have to say how awesome it is. Truth is, I really don't, and I'm sure at this point Samsung is sweating the video, but I was not overly optimistic. So to show off Onyx, we rushed into a mini makeshift movie theater with LED cinema display and sound from Harden all around us. We were given some active 3D glasses and asked to just sit and watch the experience they are about to show for the next 30 minutes. So I took the glasses, I sat down, and first thing to know is this is a giant LED display. It's not a giant screen that needs a projector. Think of it kind of like a giant TV built into just a movie theater wall. We saw some SDR and HDR clips in various resolutions, and they kept what they were going to show us a secret, and while it was an Infinity War like I hoped, it was still pretty awesome. Since it's not a projector, the image quality doesn't start to look super faded. Any sort of ambient light kind of comes in from the side. So imagine it'd be pretty good for like some dining situations or even some sort of esports gaming. And they decided to call it Onyx because Onyx is black and I kind of get it now. Black levels were like they should be super black, which makes images and pictures really start to pop. Then they switched over to some 3D content. Traditionally, cinematic 3D has been like garbage. Use a ton of brightness with those stupid tinted glasses and 3D effects that's supposed to show the depth look completely laughable. But because this is LED, you can get things way brighter, and the active glasses and the depth of the 3D they actually showed was pretty good. They talked a lot about how it's way cheaper to install for theater owners and how the LED array has modules that can be easily replaced and other theater owner jargon that went way over my head. What it boiled down to was that the fidelity of the picture coupled with the killer audio just made for a better movie watching experience. And I was actually pretty relieved that the tech here didn't suck and was good. And I'm guessing Samsung knew what they were going to show was pretty good, which is probably why I didn't put any restrictions on what I could say or not say. If it had been bad, this would have been a really uncomfortable video to publish. It boils down to this, Onyx made a difference. Movies look better. If you never see a movie on Onyx screen, you'll never know what you're missing. But once you do, start to notice the deficiencies of regular laser projectors. It's kind of like the first time that I watched a football game in HD and I could actually see the blades of grass. It made watching standard def after that just look basic. If I had the option to see a movie in the theater that had Onyx tech or one that didn't, I'd go with Onyx, and that is the honest truth. But for now though, there's only one theater that's got Onyx in it, it's north of LA, so probably gonna have to take my word for it, at least for a while. So my CinemaCon experience was awesome. Unlike Comic-Con that was mostly just dudes in suits, not guys dressed as wizards and various Spider-Men, uh, but it's still a really cool experience. I felt closer to the movie industry, kind of like an insider, which was which is a neat feeling. Mark and I finished up our filming and headed back to the airport, completing one of the longest and most satisfying days for me in recent memory.